this is an example of a psychrometric chart so if we look at the psychrometric chart we're going to start with the x-axis on the x-axis you're going to see that you're going to have the dry bulb temperature in degrees Celsius as stated here so this starts from negative 5 0 5 10 15 20 25 as you can see this dry temperature I've got lines which go up to this line here we will get to this line later but just for future reference this is the saturation line this is the line at which the relative humidity is a hundred percent okay so and then on the y-axis here this one here we have the moisture content which is the humidity ratio which is also given in kg per kg dry air so if you want to find the um, amount of moisture which is the amount of water what you just do is whatever you find this side you multiply by the mass of the air then inside then just also on the x-axis just notice these lines here these lines here this line is for the specific volume if you look at this this is cubic meter per kg here per kg dry air so this is the volume per kg dry air air which are this line which are this line here which is also this line here if you can see it which is also this line here then here we have the enthalpy the enthalpy at saturation so this enthalpy at saturation is also given kilojoules per kg dry air so if you want to find the kilojoules you multiply by the mass of the dry air in the system so and then when we look inside the graph here so inside this graph we have the relative humidity the relative humidity here is 10 percent 20 percent 70 percent it goes all the way up up until it reaches 100 percent so if you look at the formula for finding the relative humidity which is pv over p such if it reaches 100 percent it means that the pressure of the vapor is equal to the pressure of the saturation or the saturation pressure which is a hundred percent okay so if you look at these lines here the enthalpy at saturation if you can see these lines here look at the pattern in which they are, they are they're in this diagonal pattern okay so what usually happens is if we are given to find we can be given any two values which can be the relative humidity this one the temperature the dry bulb temperature which is the one below it can be the humidity ratio we can go up to a point and look at the other look at the other properties so some of the most important things that are usually found on the on the psychrometric chart are the dew point so the dew point is the temperature at which a liquid uh, at which a vapor starts condensing so let's say for example if we had a vapor an air gas mixture right so an air gas mixture which had a relative humidity of let's say not a relative humidity a humidity ratio of 0 0.02 so we look at 0 0.02 here and then we say at a temperature of 45 degrees celsius so we come here just to go up to 45 degrees celsius we come here up to 45 degrees celsius here it is so for us to find the the enthalpy so what we do is we just go up on this line so the enthalpy is this one here and remember that it is in dry remember to look at this it's in kilojoules per kg dry air okay so let's look at the same one again 0 0.02 0 0.022 here at 45 degrees celsius here we go 
it was zero no it was zero point zero two okay there we go zero point zero two at forty five degrees Celsius so for this point the saturation the saturation temperature or the dew temperature the dew temperature which is the saturation point in order for us to find it we have to go to the left so we go to the left because the relative humidity is no because the humidity ratio yes because the humidity ratio remains constant until there is condensation so we move towards the left in a straight line when we move towards the left in a straight line this point here is the dew temperature so the dew temperature here is 25 degrees celsius which is also the same as the temperature here which is 25 degrees celsius then if it starts if it starts um starts condensing usually it will go on this line this is the line that we follow okay